Uh, this is Bilal Randry. I'm at TED Global in Edinburgh, Scotland, and I'm with uh, one of the TED Fellows this year, uh, Jose Gomez Marquez. Um, hi, can you tell us a little hi. bit more about yourself? Um, well, I run a lab at MIT that does medical devices for the developing world. Okay. Um, what sort of devices? Well, um, a lot of diagnostic stuff, a lot of uh, drug delivery, vaccine delivery, uh, solar sterilizers. The idea is to use devices that are appropriate and ruggerized for the field instead of making devices that are stripped down variations of what we use in, in richer countries. Uh, yeah. So we start from the bottom up, we engage the users into designing them, uh, and often even create uh, erector sets so that they can design even more of them and then work with us. Uh, cool. Yesterday uh, in your uh, talk you mentioned uh, different ways that uh, people on the ground are creating devices. Absolutely. Uh, you know, when you go to the to developing countries and you hang out in, in hospitals enough, you'll start to notice that nurses and doctors are actually already solving many of their own solutions, uh, many of their own problems, sorry. And if we learn to to look at that with a specific lens, we can see that they're actually good inventions. All they need is a little bit of engineering to make them into a product. So we, w one of our big efforts in the lab is going out there and finding these MacGyver doctors uh, and nurses and, and, and giving them tools so that when they prototype these hacks, they don't just do it with chewing gum and tape and string, but they do it with tools that are closer to prototypes that then we can work together. Uh, because that's, that's when you create a true collaboration. Right. So you've got some toys here. You're going to show yeah, us what's going on. You know, toys are great because they have an amazing supply chain. So what we did here is microfluidics um, have a promise to really change the way diagnostics are done. Uh, we haven't really quite figured it out in the developed world. The developing world has a great incentive because you can save a lot on, on chemical and reagents. So what we did here is we have a Lego kit uh, that actually has uh, lab-on-a-chip blocks. So it's a regular Lego board, and we took the regular format of a Lego, and, in, and, and instead of having people design with computers, they simply reconfigure these blocks on the Lego board to make a diagnostic chip. So the people in the field are using this? Yes. Any examples of successes using this kind of technology? Well, you know, we're getting a lot of uh, inquiries right now. We just deployed these, these kits uh, in January, and there's the six different types of kits. There's diagnostics, there's drug delivery, prosthetics. But one of them allows people to put microscopes on cell phones, and we're getting all sorts of inquiries from the field uh, about how, new ways that they're actually taking pictures of microscopic stuff and then putting one on a cell phone, for instance. We have people assembling their own nebulizers made using bicycle pumps. Uh, so that means that you know, they don't need any electricity in case of an asthma attack. Um, and they're, 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 they're at the tinkering phase right now, but they're definitely uh, giving us a lot more feedback in terms of their ongoing experiments, you know, which is great. I think it's going to lead to some really fabulous designs in the fall. We're really excited. Well, that's great. Thanks for talking to us. We hope to hear you. from you again in the future. Thanks a lot. We'll be in touch.